In this video, I'm going to look at the new noise reduction plugin from Isotope and Native Instruments called VEA. So what does VEA stand for? Vocal Enhancement Assistant. And that's exactly what it is. It's AI that analyzes your audio and does three things. It keeps things really simple. It cleans up the noise, it enhances the sound of the voice with a bit of EQ, and it even levels things out so that they're nice and loud and easy to hear. So let's look at it in practice here inside my audio editor. I've got some audio and it's definitely got some noise and could do with some EQ improvements. And as you can see from the peaks and the troughs, a little bit of leveling out as well. People see what, who's done what on, on what elements and it's always about going back to that spot. And okay, so we could definitely do with improving that. Now, I feel that this plugin is firmly targeted at content creators with a price tag of just $29. Let's hop in and see exactly how it's gonna work on this clip. Effects, and I'll bring in Isotope's VEA to start working. And the first thing you'll see is it doesn't even wanna give you any controls. It wants to listen to your audio to understand what it sounds like and make suggested adjustments. So let's play and see what happens. People see what, who's done what on, on what elements, and it's always about going back to that spot and skating in a different way or one-upping somebody in some sort of way. Um, okay, interesting. So it listened to the audio and it made some suggestions. Let's play back from the start and listen to what it sounds like just with Isotope VEA applied on the default presets that it has suggested. People see what, who's done what on, on what elements, and it's always about going back to that spot and skating in a different way or one-upping somebody in some sort of way. So you can see there are three different controls. They've kept this really simple. Clean to get rid of your background noise, so on 0%. People see what, who's done... There's the background noise on 100%. People see what, who's done what on... Most of the background noise has gone. Let's put it back to around 58%, which it suggested. Shape is essentially a fancy word for equalization. Changing, boosting, and reducing frequencies to make the vocals sound more studio quality. Let's try increasing as we play back. People see what, who's done what on on what elements and it's always about going back i definitely like what it's doing there with the eq shape although i say too much of it feels a little bit over processed so i'm going to stick around the 69.5 percent there for the shape and finally you've got the boost here available inside vea which will simply level out the volume of your audio so that it's a consistent level so if i turn this up as we play back people see what who's done what on on what elements and it's you'll hear that the voice becomes more consistent and much easier to hear. Now, if I put that back to around 50% where it was, we can actually see this in action. If I switch on the before and after mode, you'll actually see as I turn the boost up to the top, you'll see how this audio down here flattens and becomes much louder. And that is exactly what the boost in VEA is doing. So overall, it's cleaning, making your audio sound a little bit better, and then leveling things out perfectly for you. There's really not much else to it than that. You do have some presets here as well, such as Beautiful Planet, I guess for nature documentaries, public radio available, Garage Pod, I think that's for podcasters. I'm not exactly sure though. Uh, and then you've got Sungle Vocals and True Crime, I guess, for a true crime show. So a few presets there, but that's really it. They don't really want you to do much else with this plugin, apart from really listen to the audio, play it back and change these three dials, if at all. Now you can of course reset by hitting the reset button and bypass here by hitting the bypass button. Let's try it out on a couple of other clips just to see what we get. So here's another clip. We'll go into effects and bring in the Isotope VEA and have it listen to this clip and see what it's gonna to choose to do. So first of all, I'm gonna reset it and play some new audio. Things have been more random in my life. <laughs> okay. Things have been more random in my life. Okay, so I looped that round so we could hear it. And as you can see, it has removed a little bit of the background noise, although it still remains. Things have been more random. In I can turn that up and see how much it scrubs that plain noise out. And the answer is, it's kind of still Things there. Things have been more random in my life. Breaking through. We'll bring the shape up to hear how it changes the vocals on this particular audio. Things have been more random in my life. <laughs> And we can also boost again, and that's really it. And we'll go on to the out over here. This is another clip I've got here. It's quite quiet. You can't prevent an attack. And there's a tiny bit of background noise. So again, let's rewind to the start. 
bring in Isotope VEA to process it. And again, when I get this plugin loaded up, I'll reset it so it's ready to listen to my audio clip. I'm also going to switch off preview mode so we can focus just on the audio. You can't prevent an attack, but you can prevent the attack from going really bad. You can't prevent an attack, but you can prevent... And there's your processed audio from the start. You can't prevent an attack. Let's increase clean. You can't prevent an attack. And increase the EQ. You can't prevent an attack. And boost it. You can hear how it's making you louder. You can't prevent an attack. But you can prevent the attack from going really bad. So, so far, i got to say this target is definitely a content creators with a very low price tag. But frankly, at the moment, in the way I presently see the plugin, I am not that impressed. It can do three things, but I don't think it can do any of them very well, unfortunately. Noise reduction, I feel I can do better with denoise, dereverb, or even some of the native tools in Adobe Audition that are more advanced, like noise reduction. Also EQ, I'd feel more comfortable setting that up myself or using a preset in Audition. And for the dynamic leveling, I'd probably stick on a compressor and make it work. I see how this plugin bundles it into one, but I really firmly feel that this plugin is targeted at the absolute beginner who has got a very small budget and wants to get started. If you're getting more advanced or if you want to reduce background noises, in my experience so far, it hasn't done it as well as I feel I could have done uh, myself with native plugins or maybe even another third-party plugin. But not all hope is lost. Let's look at how it works on studio recorded uh, audio and whether it makes that sound better. And remember, if you're enjoying reviews and tutorials like this, like this video, subscribe to my channel because there'll be plenty more. And you can always check this out in the description down below. I'm going to link so you can try the plugin. It's got a free trial so you can test it yourself. Maybe you'll get some different results. So here is something I recorded earlier. This is Mike doing a quick test just to see how I can change my voice using Isotope VEA. Okay, so that's me talking into my studio mic, but I wonder if Isotope VEA can actually make me sound a little bit better. So let's go into the Isotope section, load this up, make sure the plugin is completely reset. I'm going to play my audio and see what it does to me. This is Mike doing a quick test just to see how I can change my voice using Isotope VEA. I'm making sure to provide a sample audio so the plugin has a chance to analyze and make things perfect. Okay, do you know what? What it has done so far with me, I quite like on this studio recording. So actually, so far, I'm discovering that Isotope VEA is better at enhancing high quality audio than it is cleaning up background noise. So if I was to clean up background noise, like I said earlier, I might go to Denoise, D-Reverb in Adobe Audition or any noise reduction tool in my native DAW. Uh, I'd also probably use something like Waves, Clarity VX or D-Reverb. Uh, that's a pretty good plugin. Also, Isotope themselves actually have more expensive plugins that are world-class in noise reduction. So I'm really surprised that actually the noise reduction in my experience so far in this plugin is not not as good as I've seen from products such as RX and like I say, Waves Clarity VX. Um, super interesting. But let's keep going with this. I don't think I need any cleaning on this and it's done quite well in determining 30% of background removal. I could probably dial that down to keep the quality of my voice there. This is Mike doing a quick test. Let's turn that shape right up and see how that EQ curve sounds when it's really enhanced. This is Mike doing a quick test just to see how I can change my voice. Yeah, the more I put on, the more nasally I become. I feel like there's a lot of mid-range going in there. Uh, so maybe, yeah, back down to 50% where it suggests. This is Mike doing a quick test. And if I were to use the boost, let's whack that right up. This is Mike doing a quick test just to see how I... Nice and loud, you can see my levels meters right there below zero dB. Let's look at the before and after after view and we can see before quite a bit of dynamic range after oh hard limiting going on there not sure i'm a fan of that happening inside the plugin i'd much rather the spikes stay dynamic and easy going rather than hard limited uh, but clearly that's what the boost is doing at maximum level let's dial it down to 70 percent and see what happens and uh, still got a bit of hard limiting going on there which is 
Weird. I, I wouldn't necessarily accept that. Hopefully this is just the first iteration from Isotope of VEA, and maybe we'll see some upgrade and some other opportunities in the future. You've also got the ability to change to light mode if you prefer, or dark mode, whichever is your preference. And let's try out a few of these presets uh, before we finish. So beautiful planet dialed up to the top for the EQ. This is Mike doing a quick that's interesting. Garage pod. This is Mike doing a quick test. Oh, yeah, it does sound like I'm in a garage there. Public radio. Let's try that one. This is Mike doing a quick. And let's go for true crime as well. This is Mike doing a quick test. Just a lots on the high and high mids there. So really, those EQ curves, I don't know if I'd use them to process my voice. I don't know if I'd trust this plugin to go ahead and take my high quality audio and process it. I certainly wouldn't need cleaning. The EQ shape, like I say, maybe great starting point for beginners, but nothing more than that. And the volume boost can easily be done with most native plugins in an audio editor if you know what you're doing. And of course, I'll, I'll link to a video about compression that you can go and watch next so you can learn how to do boosting yourself. But like I say, Isotope, Solid company with great plugins, really world class in noise reduction. So I'm surprised that VEA, in my experience, is very basic, but maybe it's going to improve in the future. And maybe I didn't give it the best chance. If I didn't, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments down below.